Hey, this is Ray Band coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. For our brand new episode of Kill Tony, give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe! Antonio, come on, make some fucking noise! That's right. Hell yeah. Brian Redman's here, hey. everybody! Complete chaos. Down to the wire. Things are crazy. You guys ready to have a great fucking night tonight or what? God damn motherfucking Fuck right. Yeah. This is why we come to Texas all the time. Everything's bigger in Texas, even kill Tony. Giddy up. This episode brought to you by Chevy Silverado and Dodge Ram, motherfuckers. Yeah! Hell yeah. I'm so excited about this. We always have fun. A lot of crazy things happen here in Texas, and uh, we've always had fun every episode that we're here. The fun train continues tomorrow in Houston. Kill Tony's coming up in Calgary with a weekend of stand-up. I'm doing stand-up by myself in Tempe, Arizona. Kill Tony Vancouver. Kill Tony East Link just went up. Back to Swansea, Massachusetts for our big semi-annual blowout on the East Coast. La Jolla, California has a Kill Tony coming up March 5th. Ventura, March 12th. Kill Tony, Boston, April 10th with a weekend of stand-up the 10th and 11th of April. And Austin, Texas, Kill Tony Moon Tower Comedy Festival just announced April 25th. Very exciting stuff. Jeremiah Watkins has some dates coming up in uh, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany. That's all in February. Go to jeremiahwatkins.com for that, including Tahoe. January 16th. That happened yet? Nope. Didn't happen yet. January 16th. Damn. My goodness. You know, I've just been flying around. We got names cut up absolutely last second. I mean, the reason why oh, I shit. made it here was because we forgot one thing, <laughs> oh, and yeah, that was to cut up the names. I told the sound guy, who may or may not be just a tad autistic, to, uh, I told him to get scissors... And he was moving slow during the sound check, and I told him to run. I go, I need you to run. I need you to get scissors and run, motherfucker. And I didn't realize until afterwards that I told him to run with scissors. And, uh, <laughs> but we made it. How about a hand for Lawrence back there in yeah. the sound booth, everybody? We love you, Lawrence. Great work tonight. It's a badass dude. You know what's great for autism and anxiety? CBD. Yeah, I and heard that. Uh, I, we love Infinite CBD. Everybody knows that's our main sponsor here on Kill Tony. They keep us going. And now that it's the new year, a lot of people enacting their New Year's resolutions. We're going to ignore most of this. All right. uh, and, uh, but people are getting back in shape, they're going to the gym. And there's nothing better to use than the topical cream that they have out right yeah. now at Infinite CBD. You know about this. I use it on my neck. I, I just replaced my bed, but for like a couple of years, I've had a bad bed and I've had bad neck. My neck's always sore. I've been using the topical cream for my neck. It's amazing. It works. And it, it, it has, they, you, you don't even have to use the topical cream. There's a lot of different ways. If you like gummy bears, they have gummy bears. If you like the, the tincture, if you like the little drop in your mouth, they have that. So many great things. I, uh, I work out relentlessly. That's how I keep this shape and uh, this, this look of having leukemia. Um, <laughs> And I, that's what I do. I rub topical cream all over my sore joints yeah. and uh, all over my sore aches and nooks and crannies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I get in there. Sometimes and I you use, let me do it. And I use Infinite CBD. I don't buy CBD anywhere else because Infinite CBD offers the cleanest, healthiest, and purest CBD available on the market. Use the code TONY15 and you get 15% off here in beautiful 2020. So go to InfiniteCBD.com. Use the promo code TONY15, save 15%. If you're a fan of this show, support Infinite CBD. Get some for your sick parents or grandparents. Tell them to try it out. It won't get them stoned. Tell them to enjoy the uh, repercussions of new medicine at Infinite CBD, TONY15. <laughs> Very good. As smooth as always, Red Band. Just as smooth as fucking butter biscuits. Uh, I'm excited about this is with all the road episodes we go guestless for these things we like to keep it to the central core we know you guys like us the most anyway we don't need some fucking comedian here to promote his goddamn crowd work special coming out or anything like that you know what I mean cluttering it up trying to be funny saying jokes that we made fucking years ago on this fucking show 
we try to keep it refillable, have as much fun as we fuck. They don't, they don't listen to the show, so I can say whatever I want. I can call them all of our guests a bunch of hacks, and no one will ever know. Anyway, uh, so uh, but one thing we do have on these shows, believe it or not, we flew with them today. It's a band, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm having a stare down with this fucking cool lesbian lady with the silver hair over here. She's not smiling. She's a tough little cookie, huh? There's a little smile. Look at you. Got a smile, lady. Have fun. I hope she is a lesbian. Is that a guy? <laughs> That, that's not a guy, is it? You're a lesbian, right? Yeah, damn motherfucking right. Thank you. <laughs> all these Texas people patting her on the back, like, sorry about that. It's all good. I'm from, I'm, I live in Los Angeles. I know a fucking lesbian when I see one. I just like to make sure you're all right. You know what I mean? I don't like that fucking lesbian stare down you guys give me, that cold as ice. I know, le- le- lesbians hate me, by the way. I'm like lesbian kryptonite for some reason. Because they think they're, you're one of them. <laughs> no, it's because, there you go. I mean, there you go, yes. There you go. Very good, absolutely. That's one way of doing it. Uh, so we have a band on the show. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. They got packed tight in this little itsy-bitsy bathroom in this uh, t- very tiny green room we have. So they've been in there for a few minutes getting ready. Let's all find out what they are tonight together, shall we? Sometimes it's the return of famous characters that we've seen before. Sometimes it's brand new characters that we've never seen. Let's find out what they are tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Let's see what they are. Whoa, wow. Whoa, heck yeah. Wow. Basketball players, everybody. Fuck yeah, no doubt about it. Those are basketball players. Hell yeah. Welcome to the show. Uh, Have you been on? I can't remember. Have you been on before basketball player? Yeah, back in Cincinnati. Wait, what? Are you a... You heard... Back in Cincinnati, bitch. Oh, wait a second. So yeah. wait, you guys both are sort of like, uh, sort of like, uh... Man, we street ballers, dog. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yo, my name T-Swish. That's my boy Rim Job back there. I'm going to write this down. Okay. T-Switch and Rim Job, is that correct? Yeah. Switch and rim job. We play for the PPB, people playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. It's the only league that allows karate. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're here in San Antonio because no one needs uh, more new, better basketball players than the Spurs. Am I right, people? <laughs> you mu- I'm a bad guy. Yeah, the lesbian's smiling now, isn't she? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> this You're is exciting. We have basketball players. We have a red band soundboard, which brings me to this. The very extra sloppy tonight, Bucket of Destiny. These names were cut up. I might only have half your name at some point, so we're going to have to do some real guessing here. There's two ways to this stage, and only two ways. Do not walk in front of this table. If you're on this side, you come up and behind us, like in the main room of the comedy store. And if you're on that side, you can come right through behind Jeremiah and in front of the drums. Don't do anything stupid. Watch your feet as you're coming up here. There's wires, there's fire hazards. Be safe, I know you're nervous and that it all turns into a blur if your name gets called, but please, as you get close to the stage, try to focus, take your time. When we say the names, Lawrence is going to turn on the house lights for a second, just like this. Maybe a little bit more juice than that, Lawrence. Maybe a little bit more, Lawrence. Maybe more so they can... Okay, you know what? That's good, Lawrence. All right, turn him down, Lawrence. Very good. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just have them trip everywhere. Uh, I pull your name out. You come to the stage. You get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know how it works. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. It means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I fucked that up. You're going to bring out the angry Main Street bear. There you go, there you go. 
Very good. And then we talk to you about your life. I ask you a bunch of questions. Try to answer them honestly. Give us something to work with up here. We try to find out what makes you different than everybody else that's ever been pulled out of the bucket before. We would like to meet new people, find out their real stories. <laughs> the guy with the Spurs hat turned it backwards after I made the show. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You guys ready to start this fucking thing? It's San Antonio. We're back. We missed you in 2019. We were here in November 2018, and we're back January 2020, our first episode of Kill Tony on the road this year. We're going a lot of places. We're about to announce some crazy worldwide stuff, but it starts right now, right here, with you in San Antonio, and your first comedian going up tonight, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds, goes by the name of Nate M. Nate M. Here we go. Here he comes. Right there. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, we're talking basketball. Basket. You can, you can turn it down, Lawrence. Very good. One more time for Nate M, everybody. So does anybody else not give a fuck about global warming? Like, what other situation are you complaining about more t-shirt and flip-flop weather? I think we all love that, right? Uh, you know, they always come back with, well, no, you don't, you're not looking at it close enough. There's the polar ice caps, they're melting, and the oceans, the ocean's rising. So, I love the ocean. The ocean's great. Nobody teach you pussies how to swim? And then they go. Then they go into. They go into the. Well, no, you, you don't understand. Cal California, it might. It might go underwater. If we're not careful. Hmm. What a shame. <laughs> you know, from where I'm from. One last one. Where I'm from. Where I'm from. Most people agree the best Jew is a dead Jew. <laughs> and his. And his name is Jesus Christ. Good Christian joke to end it. Christian joke right there. There you go. Sure. Nate M, everybody. Getting it started with a bang. Wow. Very, very interesting. The old uh, dead Jew misdirect there after a uh, little diss to global warming. My goodness gracious, Nate. Are you okay? You angry or something? No, I just was really not expect. I know nobody expects it, so you... Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I love it. This is great. You, you, you knew you were coming here tonight? Yeah. That shirt, did you roll down a hill to get here? Like, <laughs> I mean, what exactly? <laughs> it you? was wadded up on the ground next to my uh, basket, but I just didn't, had done the laundry in a little bit, so... Did you say basket? <laughs> <laughs> And we know karate. Wow, there's our first Joelberg chant of the night. Fucking two minutes into the show. This guy's already sinking three pointers. I love it. Heck yeah. That shirt is a deba I mean, I've been, I just, I very rarely do I ever see anyone on a, in a moment like this that they prepare for, right? And that, that shirt has more wrinkles than the fucking Golden Girls, dude. It's incredible. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Do you do your own laundry? Um, Who does your laundry for you? Tell the truth, Nate. I can tell you're loading up a lie right into this fucking rifle that you call a brain right now. Do you chew your shirt before you wear it? Or <laughs> is, that, is that a chewable shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Who does your laundry, Nate? Well, when it's it, your mother, isn't it? When it gets done, well, my she does I, my laundry. My, my, so. my wife does it like my wife does it like three out of every four times, probably. Wow. So your wife. You and the, a, the, fourth, the fourth time it doesn't get done. Oh, hell yeah. You ever give her the old knuckle sandwich for that, Nate? You seem like the kind of guy that has some old school beliefs, right? <laughs> fuck, fuck global warming, dead Jews, beating your wife. Am I close on this one? <laughs> Sounds about right to me. Right? You ever hit your wife? 
Tell the truth, no, Nate. It's it's consensually most of the time. Consensually. Wow. Yo, that's a technical doc. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your first time doing stand up comedy? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. How old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three? Look at you, you young buck. Absolutely. What do you do for work? Uh He's a boat sail mannequin. I work. I oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We're starting this. Nate, what do you do for work? I, I serve at uh, a movie a, uh, movie theater that does you dinner. S- you work at the theater. Alamo Draft House. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. You think you're not allowed to say that? Is that what you're saying? They kind of. I don't know if they would like what I had said that much. So. Right. After that set, you are absolutely correct. They would, uh, they would not like that at all. <laughs> My goodness gracious, Nate. How long have you been working there at the theater? About uh, three months. Okay. Three months. What did you do before that? I worked in Natural Bridge Caverns. Yeah. All right. What's it's that? A, it's, a, it's a cave. I actually worked at the zip line. That's so how I did the zip line operation. Yeah, you look like a zip line guy. <laughs> Put that shirt on a fucking zip line. <laughs> Let it fucking soak in the sun a little bit, that fucking thing. What do you do? What do you, where, where do you keep that? Inside of like a condom or something like that? Like, I mean, it just looks compacted. Compacted, Nate. What does your wife do for work? Uh, she serves too, but she just got a job over at Oracle. At Oracle? Mm-hmm. Uh, the computer company? Yeah. Very good. Wow. No, the Matrix character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That would be crazy if she was working for the Oracle. That would be pretty nuts. That's a big job. Uh, how long have you two been married for? You're 23. She's 23 too. She's uh, she's 21. Mmm. Look at you. How long have you guys been married? You fucking weirdos. <laughs> and married at 21 and 23. Jesus I knew this Christ. Was come and up. I already see how she does the laundry. You know this ain't gonna last long. <laughs> My God. <laughs> uh, we, we got married in June. You got married in June. How yeah. long have you guys known each other? How long, how long have you been together? Uh, how long have you been prematurely ejaculating all over her? <laughs> and how long have you been using See. that shirt to clean it up? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, baby. That's how it's done. Little alley-oop. How so, long, how so long, yep, go ahead. Yeah, we've been together since uh, March of 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the think, math on that. Wow, that seems yeah. like a lie. Known each other a couple years. March 2017. When's yeah, we, her birthday? Uh, hers is May 1st, 98. May 1st, 98. So you started dating her when she was 18? Yes. Ah, suspicious as fuck, isn't it? (laughs) Suspicious as fuck. Wow, wow, Nate the Snake over here, look at you. My goodness, so where'd you meet her at? What was she doing at the time? Was she perhaps at a uh, Chuck E. Cheese or something (laughs) like that, or...? Uh, it was at it was at school. Oh wow! So she was in high school. What the fuck were you doing there at the age of nineteen, huh? No, she she was an early senior. So yeah, she was, I bet she was, dude. <laughs> and you were a late freshman. You know what I'm saying, oh, dude? Yeah. Early. No, we 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 met at Texas State. Wow, Texas yeah. State. What's that? What's what's that uh, mascot? The armadillos or something? Texas State, <laughs> the pedophiles. Bobcats. What is that? What are they? It's the, Bob the Bobcats. Cats. The Bobcats. I always call them the Wildcats, but it's, it's the Bobcats. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. So there you are. So you were 19 and she was 17, right? No, no, she was she was 18. I was 20. Ah, that's pretty crazy because you said that you're all right. No, the math, I guess, sort of works. <laughs> very close very close so you got her being born March of 98 all right I guess I'll allow it <laughs> met in 2017 all right I guess so so that's fun and uh, so what did you study at Texas State 
Oh, I was, uh, I was political science. Heck yeah. And do you use any of that while serving tables at a movie theater? <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's pretty much why I'm serving tables. Right. Yeah. Right. What, what are some of your goals? What do you think is going to happen now? I want to join the San Antonio Fire Department. Hey, look at that. I'm sure they need someone. Yeah, look at this. Gonna, this guy's going to be a fucking hero. Absolutely. Well, well, why? why? What makes you think you look like a firefighter, dude? Yeah, dog. You're wearing moccasins right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Fill in for the Dalmatian or something like that? <laughs> You're just going to clean the pole? Uh. <laughs> Down boy. My goodness. What makes you want to be a fireman? Because I mean, your favorite <laughs> because your favorite age of girl is uh nine eleven? <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I guess I'm going to be a firefighter, so, like, you know, have a good time with the boys. And... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never seen such a young pedophile before in my life. You're like King Joffrey Epstein. But you know what, Nate? It takes a lot of balls to sign up for this show, and uh, you got it started here tonight with a lot of fun, so thank you very much. His first time ever doing stand-up comedy. Come on, San Antonio. It's Nate M. We're playing basketball. Motherfucking basketball. All right, we got another name out. And sure enough, like I said, we have the half of someone else's oh, name as well. <laughs> I mean, I really had to, it was me cutting these names. I couldn't leave it up to Lawrence. Look at him back there. The lights are still on. He has no idea what's going on. This guy cannot take orders. I gave him directly what to say before the stand-up show, right? Like, you know how they give announcements before a stand-up show? And we have a pretty, we run a pretty tight ship. We do this all the time. And a lot of places, you know, they'll say, yeah, yeah, before we start the show, give it up for your headliner, Tony Hinchcliffe, you know, from this and that. And people clap. And they go, also here, Brian Redband from Joe Rogan. They clap. And it's this long, horrible process. So I told him exactly what to say, right? Cell phones off, no recording. This is before the stand-up show, not this part. You're allowed to take pictures and videotape moments of this if you want. But anyway, this was for the stand-up show. So I said... Here's what you do. No, no cell phones, no pictures, right? No recording of any kind. And now your first comedian, are you, are you guys ready for a great show? You can do better than that, because yeah, it always works. <laughs> then make some noise for your first comedian, Joel Jimenez, right? And then he goes, perfect, I got it. I repeated it five times, right? And then the show starts, and I told him to keep the door open because I wanted to hear it, because something told me. Something was going to be a little bit wonky about this intro. It was no recording of any kind. No cell phones of any kind. Are you guys ready to start the show? Come on, you could do better than that. Well, in that case, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joel We were dying in the green room. We literally died. I had to come back to life. I pulled another name out. You guys having fun yet? Here we go. Your next comedian goes by the name of Ishmael Ali. Ishmael Ali. Dreams are coming true. Here we go. Here comes Ishmael, everybody, right there. Oh, yeah. He's got it. He's a serious man. You can go lights down, Lawrence. One more time for Ishmael Ali. My name is Ismail Ali. I'm half Arab, half Hispanic. Just one of the many things I have in common with Shakira. <laughs> I'm also I'm a little gay. I mean, I'm gay, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and being gay, it's not. It's one of those things you can't really prepare for learning that you're gay. You know, one day I just think I'm a normal guy. I see a cute boy, and that back there hits, and now this is my life. <laughs> I don't know, I have a hard time fitting into the gay community in general, I think, because I don't have a great sense of fashion, I can't dance, and I don't drink or smoke meth. So, <laughs> uh, 
uh, I had an ex-boyfriend who actually did the last two. You know, he was a skinny white boy. He's a recovering addict. You could tell. You could see in his bones, you know, skinny white boy gliding around. I think he was a poltergeist, though, because he wound up ghosting me. Fuck yeah, Ishmael Ali, everyone. Very good. Awesome. Great job, man. Thank you. Way to do it. How long have you been doing stand-up for? A few months. Just a few months. Fuck yeah. Look at you. Coming out, guns a-blazing, talking about real-life shit, talking about stuff only you can talk about. Half Hispanic, half gay, Shakira worked. <laughs> I, I fucked that up. That wasn't even supposed to be. Half Hispanic, half Arab, you're gay, everything worked. A whole full minute. I would have guessed longer than a few months. That's a solid performance. Appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, you're from Texas, born and raised? Yeah, San Antonio, actually. San Antonio's very own. Absolutely. Hell yeah. My goodness. It must be hard being uh, like a, you know, coming. you've known you're gay for a long time? Uh, since I was 15. Since you were 15. How old are you now? 23. That's your quinceanera, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is so interesting. When you were coming up to the stage, I never would have guessed that you were gay. Even when I saw the rainbow glasses on the skull, I'm like, oh, he's wearing that to be ironic. And because uh, you, you have a very, it's a very like Arab. <laughs> yeah. Let's check in with uh, T Switch. Yeah, man, I knew he was gay. He, those hips don't lie. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Hey, oh shit, he really is gay. I can't dance. That's the best I got. Wow. You're the second toughest gay person I've seen tonight. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, awesome, man. You've been doing this a few months. Is it tough being a gay guy in, uh, in Texas? You know, everybody here, I always come out guns a-blazing and joke about it right from the beginning of all my sets in Texas, how manly the men are and how fucking tough everybody is. Now you're a pussy if you ain't a tough guy and drive a truck and all this. So uh, here you are. What's that been like for you? I mean, I have a harder time convincing people that I'm gay than not, so... Right. They're like... <laughs> Guys are like, you ain't gay, dude. Come on, suck my dick if you're suck gay. It. Come on. Suck it. I know I ain't gay, but I don't think you're gay either. Come on, suck it. Man. Stick him a T-switch. Yeah, this dude realized he was gay when he started teabagging all the truck nuts here in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. T-switch, all right. I don't think the act-outs are going to translate. <laughs> Didn't to, really uh, need it. <laughs> Available on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to zoom in my on that one. The, Snapchat is. <laughs> the old licking the truck nuts routine. Okay, okay, T Switch. <laughs> my god. You ever hook up with like a straight Texas man that doesn't yeah. want anyone to know that he's gay? And... Yeah. I mean, oh, you don't I, even. When I first you don't... learned I was gay, I mean, I wanted people to know, so I bought skinny jeans, a cardigan. I started, I tried the lisp for a while, but it just didn't work out. You so. tried the lisp? I tried the lisp, but it just it didn't work out. Can we hear it? Can we hear it? I mean, I haven't done it in a while, but I, I don't know. I, that didn't have an me. S in it. It just isn't me. <laughs> there wasn't even an S in that. You have to say the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, man. Uh, the San Antonio Spurs? Yeah, man. <laughs> Tony, teach know. him how to do it real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody has a gayer lisp than me. It's true. Again, this is it. All the low-hanging fruit that we've heard a million times before. Tony's gay, everybody. Tony's gay. I talked about it for an hour in my stand-up set, but yes, here we go again. I guess so. So, uh, I, I mean, when I bought skinny jeans and a cardigan, people thought I was straight for the first time ever. That's how gay I am. Is that... All right. Anyway, so uh, what's the gayest thing you've ever done? You're an Arab. You ever been part of like a kebab or anything like that? You know what I mean? You ever get, you ever get some of that fucking, some of that fucking Euro meat in your butt? You know what I mean? Squirt hummus all over the place. Honestly, kind of like I like I said half Arab, so I grew up Muslim. So uh -huh. I was, like I was basically in the closet up until this year, last July. So I didn't, I didn't fuck with most of like that gay shit. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. So Muslim, so that means when you're getting butt fucked, you have to face east or something like that? Yeah. Uh, Mecca. From, from Me- Mecca from here, it's my northeast. So Heck it depends yeah. on where in the world you are. Wow, that is so interesting. What kind of Arab are you? Palestinian. Palestinian. Your dad's Palestinian? Yep. And uh, does he, do your parents know about this, you being gay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, what does God. your dad say about it? He didn't believe me. He said we'd talk about it later, and then haven't spoken to him since. Uh, <laughs> is he not? Is that by? Ch- go ahead. What were we gonna say? He lives in Jordan, so I, had to, I had to call him to tell. Is that him. mic a little bit janky? Next, Can you keep that? Keep out. that mic right next to your mouth. All right. I think it's uh, going out. I had to call him to let him know what was up. Right. But you, I told my uncle first, who was uh, like a father figure, uh-huh. but he actually he kind of kicked me out. Right. Uh, I was at UT Austin. He kicked me out. My cousin uh, let me in, and so. That's actually, it was right after that that I started doing stand-up, actually. Wow, look at that. I mean, that's how it happens. You find yourself. Did you end up graduating from the University of Texas? Barely. Barely. I had one class that I needed to pass, otherwise it would take a whole other year. Uh-huh. And I think the professor felt bad for me. I graduated with a 69.87 in that class. Oh, wow. So, wow, 69 yeah. is something that's hard to, for a gay man to do. <laughs> and it's shitty nose. And if he's doing it, it's a 6911. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. But you got your diploma. Fuck yep. yeah. No one loves a longhorn more than you do. Am I right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Absolutely doodly. That fucking spread offense you guys have <laughs> over there. All right. What do you do for work? I have a third round interview tomorrow, so I'm in between jobs, but hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get my job in Austin. Oh, uh, okay. Sales What's a sales position? Very good. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. What else? You have a, currently have a boyfriend or anything like that, or are you just sort of dating around? Uh, no, I don't have a... Just been looking for work right now, uh, but yeah, oh, Jesus hopefully I'll Christ. be moving to How Austin, is possible? and I'll find... Give me that fucking microphone. This fucking thing. What's happening? This microphone's so so much from Texas that it hates the gay guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yes. One and two, three and four. Absolutely doodly. Uh, okay. It's a little bit of a wobbly uh, connector here. Lawrence. Uh, yeah, we have another bad cable. Lawrence, we gotta get you, buddy. Come on, Lawrence, you motherfucker. <laughs> Lawrence, you gotta come up here and sh- expose yourself to these people. If you make out with Ishmael, I'll give you twenty bucks. What? What did I say? <laughs> Lawrence has his own chant happening here. This is incredible. Only in San Antonio do they chant for the... Tony, we're, gonna, we're about to have Lawrence of Arabia right now. Hey. Okay. Lawrence and Arabia all at once. He's got That's a it. stack of cables that all are is. broken. Here he is. Lawrence, everybody. Here he is. <laughs> everybody loves him. Everybody knows Lawrence. Lawrence, you having fun tonight? Well, uh, I will if we uh, get a uh, good chord. You're, you're uh, damn right. I told you he was a little bit autistic, everybody. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, you are a fucking legend, bro. <laughs> you are an instant legend. Do you know that? No. Not you know, till now. You know what? Let's try a little experiment because I feel like it's going to work if everybody just holds it by that part. So why don't you just stay close Okay. and we'll just have everybody hold it by that part. I've been around long enough to know that you just have to... So oh, shit. How we're supposed to do it or... Oh, we shit. Can. Lawrence, how do you feel knowing that there's a gay man uh, that close to you? You know what they say about the... Uh-oh. Lawrence, yeah. is there any part of you that wants to give Ishmael a little kiss right now? Well. <laughs> this guy's losing his mind. Hold on, let's see what Lawrence is about to say. There's a part of me that wants to give you a kiss. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, 
Jesus Christ. Lawrence, why don't you give Ishmael a kiss and I'll think about it. How about that? <laughs> Gay show. All right, all right. I thought about it. It's not happening, Lawrence. <laughs> Yo, how how was the kiss on the cheek somehow gayer than open mouth? <laughs> <laughs> and now give him a beheading. <laughs> hey, look at that. Absolutely. That, <laughs> my goodness. Yo, is this how autism spreads? <laughs> Lawrence. The spectrum is like a rainbow. Uh, wait, what? Oh my god. That is incredible. Lawrence is killing. Can we get Lawrence a raise here tonight, huh? Yes! There you go. All right, Lawrence, I'm just going to have everybody hold it by that part. I think we have it pretty much fixed. Let's yes. not even wobble with the bottom part. Just hold on to that black part. We know you'd yes. probably love that, Ishmael. Uh, this exactly as I do. Yeah, just hold on to the handle part there, Ishmael. All right. I think we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lawrence, great okay. job. How about another hand for Lawrence, everybody? Uh, uh, Stay close. Good. If we need you again, get ready to come up here, all right? Sur- surprisingly, not the first creepy butler we've ever had on the show. <laughs> yeah. Definitely you rang? <laughs> Definitely not. Ishmael, I mean, you are unbelievable, dude. You are a, a diverse, very special creature, very rare in these parts of Texas. I love that you're owning it. I love that you're out. If your uncle and your father don't respect your decisions, just know that here in San Antonio, uh, over the years, things have advanced, and these people seem to be very welcoming to a person of your type, and uh, it's an evolved time that we live in, and you should be very proud because there might be a half Palestinian, half Hispanic kid out there listening right now that feels gay, that's afraid to come out and chase his dreams, and here you are doing it in the heart of Texas. So that's if you can do it here, you can do it anywhere. Ishmael Ali, everybody. <laughs> Booyah. Wow, what a show so far. Very exciting. Hispanic. Arab and gay. That's as much diversity as I would expect in an entire episode of San Antonio yeah. Kill Tony, all with one human. Wow. That's an Old Navy commercial. <laughs> <laughs> literally doesn't make any sense. But <laughs> all right. Pulled another name out of the bucket. <laughs> Completely on brand, though, for you. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Make some noise for your next comedian, Greg Larson, everybody. Here we go, Greg. Whoa, here he is. He's already right up here. here. Ready to go. Greg Larson. <laughs> we good? Okay. One more time for Greg Larson, everybody. I'm a ghostwriter, which means I write books for people who can't write themselves. My oldest client is 95 years old. So in his case, I'm his actually almost a ghost writer. <laughs> his name is Carl. Carl's like a classic creepy old dude. He uh, always says weird stuff to me. The other day he said, you know the only difference between rape and ravishment? Salesmanship. Which is awkward because his book is about sales. I was like, Carl, you really got me rethinking that chapter on overcoming objections. Where did you get this information? My mom didn't call on my birthday again. I mean, she's like dead or whatever, but just send a card. The sound effects, so loud. Love it. So here we are. Greg, you are a writer? Yes, sir. That's true? That's what you do for a living? Yep, how author long, and ghostwriter. How long have you been doing that for? About three years. What do you mostly write about? Sales? That's some of it. A lot of like CEOs uh-huh. who want to have books in their industry, they right. come to me. Very interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Did you go to school for that? Yeah, I have a master's degree in creative writing. From? 
Old Dominion University in Virginia. Old Dominion University in yeah. Virginia. Yep. Very, very cool. Uh, and how old are you? 31. 31. You've been doing stand-up for a couple of years? I've been doing it seriously for about three months. Uh -huh. um, how about not seriously? Got on stage for the first time about 12 years ago when I was 19. 12 years ago. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you took a little break. Yeah. I, uh, I think I got like embarrassed with bombing so often. Right. And just stepped away from it for like 10 years. Absolutely. And here you are. This is your, uh, so you've been doing it a couple months here in San Antonio? Uh, no, I live in Austin. So oh. I do open mics there. Very cool. It's a big, pretty big scene there in Austin. I don't think a lot of people know that Austin might be the third, fourth, or fifth biggest comedy scene in the country. Um, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> it's like a few people trying to get like ahead of the jokes. Like, ha ha! Like, no, no, that's a, that's a, real, that's a real one, guys. Uh, so, uh, Greg, interesting. How'd your mom die? Uh, she starved herself. So she had had a long mystery illness for a long time, and she decided that she was just going to end it by stop eating. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. I know one lady in this room that will never stop eating. <laughs> it's a pussy, eating pussy joke. <laughs> now that you didn't like that one, you don't like... No, thumbs down. <laughs> it wasn't food. It was eating pussy. All right, forget it. Do, do you ever write your own books, or do you only... Yeah, I, I, I basically do ghostwriting to support my own writing. My second memoir is coming out next spring. You ever ghostwrite something and go, man, I should have kept that for myself. That, should, that, that would have been... No, you, no. Yeah, you can't. Because it's somebody else's work. Right. You can't really do that because it wouldn't get published if it was under your thing because it, it's just the, the fast way of doing it and a much easier way to make money is having someone else pay you because they want that recognition. I, a lot of people don't know this, but I made a lot of my first money in, um, in show business writing jokes for very famous comedians. Um, and uh, it was an unbelievable opportunity. I think it, it's a lot harder than uh, people think. You know, you have right. to be very, very good at it. But once you get your legs underneath, you have a little bit of money. You can write something really good that is really good. Yeah. And you have to, like, imitate somebody else's voice, too. Ex exactly. Which is fun, but incredibly challenging to yep. do authentically. Yeah. A whole book sounds really, really hard. But these people just love it. And you talk to them, and you get updates from them, like, hey, here's what I'm thinking that you would say. Um, well, I do phone interviews with them. So, right. like, I get, I transcribe those interviews. So, like, I'm able to get, like, some of their voice in that. Right. But, yeah, it takes a lot of work to nail down most people's voices. Interesting. You, you have a, what's your love life like? I just met somebody, actually, Ooh. like last week. Wow, is it Ishmael Ali? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't complain. Um, no, I met, I met her through, I, I, couch, I do couch surfing, so like I host people from around the world. Uh, they like crash on my couch if they need a place to stay. So like competitively or like? <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, she's coming up from Costa Rica and she... We just like connected. Have you met her before? I'd never met her before. She just like sent me a request like, hey, I need a place to crash. Um, and usually it's a very platonic situation, but yeah. like we just connected very You deeply. kept talking. Yeah. Dude, you're just... about to get catfish like a motherfucker, oh, yeah. bro. No, I, I have met what are you going to do when she can't even fit on your couch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, have, I met her last week, and that's when we got... I don't know. It's that fiance oh, you, show. You matter, matter. Yes. Heck yeah. She's about to steal your identity, bro. Yeah. That's what's going on here. She have a good butt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does she have a big butt? Yeah. <laughs> Costa Rican ass. Yeah. People know. People know the famous Costa Rican big butt. Yeah. Has uh, Has anyone ever come up to you from the back and say they love you as the host of Hot Ones? <laughs> turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Hey, there he is. I get to see shit that you guys don't. Heck yeah. Hey, Definitely. your back of the head references are on top. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's it. That's rim job back there. <laughs> so you met her last week. She came up from Costa Rica. She yeah. stayed on your couch, but yep. she didn't even end up staying on your couch, did she? She made it to the bedroom, didn't she? No, no, because there's a weird vibe. Like, there's this... I don't know. There's this unspoken, like, power dynamic there that I didn't want to, like, take advantage of. <laughs> 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 
she's a strange woman coming into a guy's house. Like, I'm going li- to wait for her to make so the first So this move. thing that was supposed to be platonic that ended up not being platonic, and then she showed up, and then it sort of became platonic again? <laughs> it, it, it turned into being a little bit more possibly romantic after she showed up. Oh, uh, so there she is. She's sleeping on the couch. You walk out with a little candle or something like that. <laughs> Right? How'd this go down? When was the moment you realized that? Uh, <laughs> we went out dancing to like we went to a silent disco. Oh, wait, what, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hey, what's a silent disco? So you wear head, you wear headphones. Oh, I actually know about this. Yeah. I once had a blast doing this. It's I was on the fun. 311 cruise four or five years ago, and uh, one of the things that they had was this, and you can switch things exactly right? yeah you can what, choose what are those guys called do you remember the name of the thing is it just called a silent disco yeah i didn't i didn't catch the oh, any okay other name i didn't that. know if there was like a famous Wait, dj what? that did what it happened? It's, it's really cool so i know it sounds crazy but we ended up having like the time of our lives so they give you these headphones and it's either red or uh red or green or something like that and um basically you can see the songs that everybody else is listening to and yeah. you're gonna want to Yes, okay. You're going to want to hear this. It's not going to work on this. So, uh, so, um, and, but you could, like, see who's enjoying themselves and who's sort of sick of the song, and the other songs are changing at different times. So, like, you'll see everybody with red headphones be like, oh, and you're like, oh, fuck, what's going on? And they'll be like, DMXX or something like that. And you're like, oh, shit, it's DMX. Right? It looks totally ridiculous. Yes, the outside, and, and by the way, and that's and if you take your headphones off, everybody's just sort of like, <laughs> 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 it's the funniest shit in the world. We had a blast doing that. Exactly. I, I only did it once, and uh, you do that a lot. No, that was the first time I'd ever done it. Your idea or her idea? That was my idea. Oh, look at you. Um, I love dancing. Oh, um, you do. Really? Well, you know what? Why don't you give us a little? Now you can hit that. Put that mic in the mic, Stan. And you, you have to let it rip, Greg. I'm telling you right now. Oh! Whoa! Oh, my God. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. My goodness. Somehow you are gayer than Ishmael Ali. <laughs> I just, got, I just got word that after seeing that, Ishmael's now straight. Back to you in the studio, Tony. <laughs> I, just got word, I just got word that Ishmael Ali's uncle is no longer talking to Greg Larson. <laughs> what was Bill Burr doing? Wow, yeah. <laughs> this is, you're like bizarro Bill Burr. Yeah. I'll take it. Vulnerable and not that funny. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're a funny guy, Greg. Well, I mean, you know, you did it, dude. Absolutely awesome. Great performance. Great. You drove, uh, how long's the drive from Austin to get here? It took about two hours in traffic. Was it worth it? Did you have fun? Fuck yeah. Dude. There you go, Greg Larson, everybody. On to the next one we go. He's on social media at the Greg Larson. All one word. Ishmael Ali is at I S M A Y E L L. Ishmael. Can I get a Jack and Diet, please? There you go. It's a but jack and diet. There you go. You know that diet's gonna help you out. <laughs> Ooh, he's so concerned for his health. Yo, 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 yo. Same team, dog. Same team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make some noise for your next comedian, Justin Tretchen, everyone. Justin Tretchen. Here he comes. If you like pina colada, oh, different song. Come and dance in the rain. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. One more time for Justin Tretchen, everybody. Are there anyone in here have a small mouth? No one has a small mouth. Are you kidding me? I'm the only one that has trouble eating bananas. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, I, I, can't, I can't go in from the top. It's too girthy, all right? I, ha- I gotta go in from the, from the sides. 
lumberjack style, like, or Quinn and the Cobb, you know? Like, I can't. Dude, you know shit, serious. A cop told me I had a small mouth. I, I got pulled over by a cop. And he, so I do the pen test, and then he points it at me and goes, can you open your mouth? <laughs> and I go, no, I can't open my, like, I can't open the wider. And, uh, all right. Wow, very impressive. <laughs> Small mouth. Justin Tretjen. Am I saying that right? Tretjen? Tjen. It's actually Tjen. Tjen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tjen. Very I good. I didn't. My friend wrote it down. So oh, he could be a fucking idiot. I don't even. He could have <laughs> fucked it up. I don't even know what you're saying. Your mouth is so small, I can barely <laughs> understand you. I also uh, have a speech impediment. Yeah, no, you do. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I can confirm that. A lot of people don't know I am a uh, speech professional. So uh, let's check in with T-Switch. Yeah, we're looking for a shooting guard on our team. So if you want to join Rim Job, T-Switch, we'd love to have Little Mouth as an addition. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I'd, I'd fucking love to. I'd My fucking goodness. love it. Do you, do you eat everything through a straw? <laughs> I actually fucking hate straws. I'm one of those people that hate plastic. Heck yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So. I can't imagine what Ishmael would want to do with that tight mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just can't even imagine. He'd either want to fuck <laughs> it or fly an airplane into it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You don't know. It's, it depends on how he's feeling that day. Either half Mexican or half Arab. You know what I mean? <laughs> My goodness gracious. What do you do for work with such a tiny mouth? <laughs> Whisper. <laughs> 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 a big Goldberg chant. Uh, I work uh, with kids with disabilities. Oh, oh wow. wow. Someone yeah. you can really relate to. <laughs> they have small mouths uh, and speech impediments as well. Yeah. Uh huh. I love it. I love it. That is so cool. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I actually have a disability, so I fell into it. Oh, what's your disability? Uh, I have oh. muscular dystrophy. Oh, mm. muscular dystrophy. The, actually, the reason why uh, I got the test is the cop that I had a DUI. Right. And I was like, I have a disability, I can't do the test you want me to do. So he had me do the pen test for a fucking long time. Remind us all uh, one time exactly how muscular dystrophy works. Because we have a, we have a new regular on the show, Michael Lair, that has Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. And we've learned a lot about that as of late. Oh, some of you know. Very good. I'm interested to know a little bit more about muscular dystrophy. It makes your mouth shrink. That's the first <laughs> sign. Then what happens? Um, I'm actually the wrong person to ask because... I don't like to find out about my disability because I think it's going to like psychologically block me uh -huh. from doing shit right. if I find out more. That's but why I don't research AIDS at all. Yeah, I, just, I told like, him. I just, let it, I just let it ravage my body. and I, I purposefully, I shut off Philadelphia halfway through the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the Freddie Mercury movie. Same thing with Forrest Gump. He puts Neosporin on all his sores. And That's I true. That's true. I just rub a little Jack and Diet on him yeah. and uh, <laughs> get all about it. CBD. Infinite CBD. <laughs> That's yeah. right. The topical cream. I use well, the promo code Tony15. Go ahead. Di the diet is working a lot better on you than... And red band. Thank oh, you. Come Thank on. You. Wow. <laughs> Even <laughs> small mouths making fun of you too. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I would be yeah. I'd be that thin also if I couldn't eat anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> can't even blow a bubble. It just flies out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Red Band is done you, you, taking you, you, this you, shit you, from you. you. You're the one that orders the petite fillets. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, take that, bitch. <laughs> you probably have big nipples, though. All wait, right, wait. all right, Red Band. All right, let's relax a little bit. Let's relax. I love it. I love it. Red Band. Justin, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? About six years. Six years. Awesome. All of yeah. it here in San Antonio? No, actually, I'm from Phoenix. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you make that... Did you drive here? Yeah, I drove with my friend. Oh, we very We have two cool. shows here, and you are in town, so... 
Oh, very cool. When are, you, when are your shows? Uh, Friday, tomorrow, and Sunday. Tomorrow and Sunday. Where yeah. are they at? Uh, I don't know where the Friday one is, but I know the Wow, you're, you are so good at promotions. <laughs> it's incredible. You don't even know where you're you pre- you drove all the way here. You're like, who gives a fuck? Uh, I'll show it's up. All my friend coordinated, but I know I'm at the secret group on Sunday. Oh, oh. in Houston. Yeah, in Houston. Oh, well, when do you go to Houston? Uh, Friday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Fuck. So what I'm are you sorry. doing here on Saturday? What? Today's Thursday. Yeah, I know today's Thursday. <laughs> but you were here, so we had to I'm come. starting to learn a lot about muscular dystrophy right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually really smart, but the thoughts can't make it out. <laughs> it's like a tunnel that gets smaller. So it's Thursday, and then you have a show tomorrow yep. here, and, and then Sunday you're at the secret group in Houston. Yes. We're at the secret group in Houston tomorrow and Saturday. Did you know that? Yeah, you guys are sold out, right? Yeah, so. but technically you could sign up and stand in the other room, listen and keep an ear out, or keep a small mouth out, whatever you want, <laughs> or listen to hear if your name gets called. All right, okay. It's possible. I mean, if you're going to be in Houston, my point is, is you could be there and uh, we'll all hang out, maybe have a, have a drink or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you just got awarded what we call the bronze ticket, where you're allowed to sign up even though it's still sold out and hang out with us possibly after the show. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You did. Anything else crazy we need to know about you, Justin? Anything else about your life? Any fun facts about you that think, you think makes you different? Any special skills or talents or anything like that? No, not that, uh, not that I can think of. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Uh, fuck this. <laughs> Just stand up? Any other hobbies or anything like that? Oh, you know, the boring shit, video games, music. Oh. Fuck yeah. Stuff. I love it. I actually went to school for video games, so. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. yeah? I don't want to fucking talk to you. <laughs> oh, look at this rivalry. Wow. Small mouth versus big bones in a uh, battle of the titans over here. <laughs> I love it. You put, you put the diss in muscular dystrophy, dude. <laughs> I love your style. Oh, oh, okay. wait. Oh. Hold it, hold it, hold the Oh, no, that's just his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, uh, that wasn't the mic cable that time. I love it. Justin, so much fun. So cool, man. This thanks for, great. I thanks love for coming on. Justin Trejan, everybody. <laughs> Trejan. Tejan. Justin Tejan. Yeah, I love it. Fuck yeah, Justin. Rock and roll. Muscular dystrophy isn't contagious, is it? <laughs> so stupid. We're a bunch of morons over here. There we go. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's a blank one. Some of these people <laughs> signed up on different pages. Oh, this looks like a fun name. This looks like a made-up oh, name if I've totally ever seen one before. I'll be really surprised if this is this person's real name. It sounds like something I'd use in a joke. Make some noise for Leroy Jenkins, everybody. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Is this real? Is this Leroy? Leroy Jenkins? Wow, come on, Leroy. There you go. Here he is, Leroy Jenkins, everybody. Make some noise for Leroy, everyone. God damn. What an audience tonight. All right. So, any single people in the crowd? Let me see a hand. Of course you are, you fucking faggots. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, any of my niggas out there? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. I see you in the fucking crowd. All right? Any bloods, any crips? All uh, right, no, I mean, it's cool, it's cool. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm pretty sure most of you are. Alright? <laughs> Why the fuck you laughing, man? Why the fuck you laughing? Wow. Leroy Jenkins. Alright, give me some 
Yo, he, he, he said the N-word, and I was like, out of bounds, dog. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, thank you. Leroy. Thank you. Did you prepare for this? Were you expecting this? What's going oh, on? Oh, hell no. What's I was not expecting this at all. So did you, you signed up as Leroy Jenkins? Yep, and I am Leroy Jenkins. Right, I know your name's not Leroy Jenkins in real life, so like you really got me there with that laugh. You did it yourself. You're not hey, fooling anybody, but... Matty B. Matty B. Wow. The rapper. Yeah, yeah. no, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, um... Yeah, I, 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 uh, how much did you drink today? It's hard to tell, honestly. Uh-huh. That's uh, okay. Yeah. You're just a little bit little bit too loopy to even be up here, pal. <laughs> it, it's hard to tell. That was like nine inwards words ago. <laughs> it, I mean, the black guy loved it. We have Israel Adesanya up here. Absolutely loved yeah. it. Take a bow, Israel. Stand up. Wave to these people. He's not going to listen to me because I'm white and you just said the N-word. There goes Leroy Jenkins, everybody. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Look at the black bouncer. Like, oh, I'll help you, motherfucker. I'll help you. Wow. How many of you want to light him on fire right now, huh? Uh, maybe, maybe after the show. Maybe after the show. It's a blank name, blank name. Ooh, they scratched their name out. Someone got scared. Okay, make some noise for Eric Vegas, everybody. Here we go, Eric Vegas. Ooh, here he is. He's ready. This guy's ready to go. One more time. How's it Eric going? Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. What's up? So uh, I like to think of myself as a very considerate person. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm that guy you'll see doing a mild to fast jog along crosswalks. <laughs> you know, that guy? If you go slow on these crosswalks, you're kind of a piece of shit and wasting all of our times. Anyway, I respect my time and the time of others around me. And uh, anyway, this uh, middle school substitute teacher of mine, Mr. Tubbs, he's a really cool guy. Like, big frame glasses, white beard. He has a dragon uh, button-up shirts. He's a pretty cool fucking dude. Um, he'd come out of nowhere and he'd say, Oh, you wasted time, boy! Anytime us and our friends are just fucking not doing our work or anything. And this, this, this phrase has stuck with me ever since, you know? And it comes up whenever I'm wasting time. And uh, sometimes I'll be... Uh, Sometimes I'll be on the verge of uh, doing some masturbation seconds and uh, Mr. Tubbs appears in my head and he says, Oh, the first wasn't enough, boy. You wasted time, boy. Anyway, don't waste your time, folks. Good night. Thanks. Hell yeah. Eric Vegas. Stay right What's up, there. Tony? Hello. Yes, You're a little Eric. too sweet. No, what is, all right. What's going on, pal? Just relax. Jesus. Take a breath. Just breathe a little bit, Eric. Let the let the, let some oxygen into that brain, pal. I hey, love it. Deep breaths. Get one, in. one of the positives. Oh, yes. He didn't say the n-word, so you're yeah, already, yeah. There you go. Give me that one. Yeah. I what was up with that shit? I don't know. Hey, give it to sure, him. Sure. T switch. Yeah. This dude looked like a uh, weird Al rape a bitch. <laughs> oh. Weird Al rape a bitch. With the layup. T switch, everybody. Absolutely. Uh, so, Eric, uh, first time doing stand-up comedy? This was, yes. Yes, indeed it was. That's the goat of your first time. How old are you, Eric? I'm 25. 25. What do you do with computers for a living? <laughs> Holy shit! God damn, you got me. Uh, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those chicken or the egg thing that with the people that look like you. I don't know whether the sitting behind a computer makes you eventually look like that or people... People that, okay, if, if the sound effects are louder than everything, then that cancels out everything that anybody else is saying. So if it's the same volume, then we can you all You weren't talking it. when I played that, by the way. Was, Just so you know, for the record, you were not saying a word. You think you can change history? I was literally... It's on tape. Rewind the tape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, rewind Yo, the tape. Yo, right, dog, check out the instant yeah. replay right rewind now. Rewind it. Kill Tony. All right. Absolutely moronic. But uh, anyway, Eric, so... 
chicken or the egg? Which happened first? Did you look like this and then work with computers? or? <laughs> I uh, look like this first and then, yeah, start working with computers. Right. So, yeah. so what made you look like that? Is, does your mom look like this or your dad? You know, it's a little combination of the both. <laughs> I, can, yeah, I feel course. that. You have your mom's hair and your dad's face. I guess. Yeah, sure. You don't... I, yeah. I like it. So what do you do with computers? Video I, games? Uh, I, I play some video games, yeah. Um, no, uh, my job, I do some online marketing for a staffing agency. Very good. All here in San Antonio? Yes. Why do I feel like you get beat up more than Ishmael Ali? <laughs> okay. You ever get thrown in a locker or anything like that? No. No, no, that's never occurred. No. All right. What do, what do you do for fun? Clearly you're a fan of pro wrestling. That's fucking right. Absolutely. Store horsemen, everybody. Get hey, on it. Hey, I like that. Right. I, yeah, I have to be a wrestling of... fan, but yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, besides that, I play a lot of guitar, a little bass. Uh, oh. I like singing. You like singing? Yeah, Why don't sure. you sing us a little something? Give us a little example. Oh, well, fucking Some me. singing. You want a cappella? You want a beat from Joel? Is there something that you would uh, prefer? Uh, sure, yeah, throw me a beat. Let's do this. Yeah, give him a little beat, Joel. Oh, yeah. Give me that sweet groove, yeah. Oh, I like coming to the comedy club with my friends. I got nothing. Fuck, you gotta put me on the spot for singing. Try saying the N-word. Say the N-word. <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. No, don't say it. Shut up. I love it. Eric, what's something crazy about you that would surprise us? Because you seem like a mild, you know, demeanored man, like a very innocent soul. Is there oh, yeah. something wild about you that would surprise us? Uh, hmm. No, probably, probably not. Probably not. Just uh, stick to my shit. You joked about masturbating. When's the last time you've been with a woman? <laughs> uh... Yeah, well, when my girlfriend didn't come to the show tonight, unfortunately, because uh, we saw you and Joe Rogan in Houston, and unfortunately, she didn't like your set, man. So. Oh, she didn't. What did, did she have? Let me guess. She has like a, she has, she's had a lot of abortions or something like that. Or? <laughs> See, it's one, it's always one or the other. Right now, with the current set list that I have, I can tell you either she's had a lot of abortions or at least one. That's really all it takes for a woman to get upset at my set. Or she has someone that uh, like has a serious mental handicap in her family, pretty close, cerebral palsy. Am her I right? boyfriend. None of, none of the above? No, she just has a shitty sense of humor. She oh, likes that might be the case. Might not be. No, she's got a great... She's pretty funny herself. Too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Why do I feel like she looks just like you, but with tits? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. She doesn't have curly hair. I'll just remember uh, when Garth yes, meets the chick that looks just like him at the DMV. All right, back to you, Tony. Thank you. Hey, uh, so you, yes, T switch. Yeah, when were you diagnosed with system of a Down syndrome? Oh my God. Oh God. Wake uh, up! put a little back up. Uh, what are you, the Saudi prince, man? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Jokes that. Oh God. Anyway. But they love it. Way to, way to play to the live crowd, I guess. Yo, but you didn't really answer Tony's question, though, because he asked you the last time you, like, played down low, and then you, like, brought it back with, like, that it, your girlfriend just doesn't like him. <laughs> I don't see how it even... <laughs> is, there something, is there something that she said specifically about my set in Houston that I performed? I performed 30 minutes in no. the arena that the Houston Rockets play in. I it can't imagine like it going any better than it did because I tightened up every nook and fucking cranny and destroyed 360 degrees in the middle of a basketball arena. So I'm interested to hear if she gave you any exact notes about what she didn't like. <laughs> you were there. I couldn't have possibly have killed any harder. So you tell me what she didn't like. She didn't pinpoint it. Actually. Yeah, you know it the was... answer. You're just censoring no, no, it right no, now. I swear <laughs> to God. I she just her. said, you drove all the way from Houston to be here, right? No, no, no I'm, I'm from San Antonio. You're from San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. guys drove, we drove to Houston. Drove to Houston for that, Jeez. just the two of you. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm not coming out tonight. I don't like Tony Hinchcliffe. I asked her the other day, hey, you want to go see Hinchcliffe? And she's like, uh, I didn't really like his set. That was it. That was the <laughs> extent of it. Did, did, that's did, that's it. so funny. But did you she, loved uh, it. You, uh, s oh, you saw me literally okay. a month ago, and you're like, I no. have to see his full hour. 
Yeah, of course. He, right. he, uh, he, ca- that, he called her Tony in bed one time, and then <laughs> she's like, I don't That's like that Tony takes. guy. <laughs> That's all it Did takes. Did she specifically say, if you get caught, you better tell him I didn't like his shit either. <laughs> Did, she tell, Did she tell you to send a message? To tell yeah. Tony specifically, did she, never mind. Fuck. No, 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 she did not. She did not. She did not. <laughs> what is wrong what with did, these what, people? Man? What did she do for work? She is a GIS analyst. She. Uh, you know what? Let's call her right now. I want to oh, ask her about this. I'm going to ask her about this. I'm going to ask her what the fuck she didn't like Sarah, I'm about sorry. my set in Houston, Texas. Uh, well, let's, you serious, Tony? All right, hey, let's. All right, you guys want this? Let's do this. I don't know if she'll answer. I don't know if she'll answer. Oh, uh, she's gonna answer. I'm gonna put her on speaker. You're damn right. You put her on speaker. You put the phone right up to the bottom of that or, thing. Or a black guy's gonna answer. <laughs> put the put, put, right, we're put the, on put the, the fucking phone up to the. Hello. I don't know. So like. <laughs> hey. 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 Sarah. Hi, Sarah. It's it's me, Tony Hinchcliffe, one of the top young rising comedians in the world. So, Sarah, I just got word from my new best friend in the world, Eric Vegas, that you didn't like my set in Houston, and I find it really hard to believe that you didn't like me. So now we have you live on the air on Kill Tony. You're being recorded. It's no big deal. It's just the number one live podcast in the world. Uh, so now my question is, can you give me some notes or pointers on how to uh, be a, the type of comedian that you would like more? What didn't you like about my set at that sold-out arena in Houston, Texas? Okay, no, number one. Number one? Holy shit. Hold on, hold on, wait. We gotta be quiet. Everybody shut the fuck up. (laughs) All right, number one. Go ahead, number one. That's all I got. (laughs) No, wait, 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 wait. Sweetheart Sarah, we didn't hear you. The crowd went crazy after you said number one. What did you say? Number one, what? Number one, be funnier. (laughs) What'd she say? She said, "Be funnier." Okay, well, that's a bad note. You have any? What's number two? Uh, pretty much number one. That's it. All right. Well, specific, like specifically, like what can did you, she can like? Can you give me any? Can you give me any specific notes? Because the rest of the audience was having a great time that night in Houston. So I'd love to know specifically how I can make a computer nerd's girlfriend uh, happier with my set. I like to make all ranges of people happy, so I'm wondering if you can give me a specific note because I can't possibly be any funnier. I'm one of the top young rising comedians in the world. You could maybe not refer to me as a computer nerd's girlfriend (laughs) for starter. That'll definitely make me happier. That one stung a little bit, didn't it? All right, come on. Can you give me just, please, just think about it. Give me one specific note on what you would have liked more from me that night. Maybe a bit more memorable, too. (laughs) What? Be a bit more memorable. All right, lady, you're crazy. This lady's crazy. Yo, Yo. memorable. (laughs) Yo, Tony, he said he said uh, before we hopped on the call that she's a GIS analyst. How long has your girlfriend been analyzing jizz, dog? <laughs> what are you doing? Put her back on the phone. You're, you're live. Sarah, are you there? Oh, God, yeah, still here. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, rattle off some of your favorite comedians just so that I can get sort of an idea of the type of comedy that you're into. Just don't, don't overthink it. Just start rattling them off. I know Amy Schumer has to be one of them. <laughs> hey, her bit about the Diva Cup was hilarious. <laughs> what was that? What? I said her bit about the Diva Cup was hilarious. Thank you. I rest my case. I rest my fucking case. 
Amy Schumer fan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> She a little bit she a little bit thick, your girl? In all the right areas. What? In all the right areas. In all the right In areas. The right you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Give it up for Sarah. Give it up for Eric Thank Vegas. Y'all. We're gonna change directions here. Thanks everybody. Good night. Eric, thank you. That was a lot of fun, pal. Your girlfriend not liking me made it very interesting. I actually like that a lot. That's hilarious. Did the math on it. You see me do the fucking math? It's Amy Schumer fans. They hate me. Very rare. Your odds of finding an Amy Schumer fan in Texas are the same odds of finding a half Mexican, half Arab gay man, so... <laughs> Her bit about... She lost me at her bit about. <laughs> Blank. All right. We having fun out there? Clearly anything can happen. This is a special episode. I like this episode. Pulled another name out. Looks real to me. Make some noise for Logan Taylor, everyone. Logan Taylor. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Come on, everybody, make some fucking noise right now. I have a mustache. Yes, it does smell like cheese tacos. Thank you, Texas. I had a really awkward experience with an ex-girlfriend one time. We decided to have a threesome with her future wife. It's fucked with me ever since. I don't even know if this Adderall is really messing with me either. <laughs> I might have a drinking problem. This whole state has a drinking problem. I'm not from Texas. I'm actually from Montana, which is the Texas of the North and Southern Canada. Thank you. Absolutely. Logan Taylor, I love it, man. Great delivery, great look, great performance, everything right down the barrel. Incredible. Thank you. How are you, man? Doing good. You feel good after that? Dude, I'm... Those Adderalls are fucking with me. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah you're shaky shaking. as fuck. Dude. Yeah. You're like Michael J. Fox. How much? How much? How much Adderall have you uh, have you had? Forty milligrams. Wow. My goodness. First time I've ever taken it. He is. He is a little oh, Parkinson'sy, right? You are. You're like Michael J. Fox worthy. It's a comedian, shaky comedian with a mustache. Yeah, this dude's like Teddy Roosevelt with Parkinson's, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this, he looks like Yosemite Spam. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. fucking wild, man. <laughs> This dude looks like multiple characters from the board game Guess Who. <laughs> <laughs> that is mind-boggling. You are an extreme character. So you had some alcohol tonight, some Adderall? Yep. Hell yeah. What made you take the Adderall? Uh, my friends gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it often? Do you do Adderall a lot? Literally the first time I've ever taken Literally it. Literally the first time you've ever done it. Are you, do you do other uppers ever? Uh, do cocaine. You do that? <laughs> wow. A lot of cocaine fans in this room. Wow, that was a very special clap you did there, Israel Adesanya. Wow. Style bender. Look at that. That is a sturdy mustache yeah. you have hanging it, from that a, face. It's EST 2012. It's a what? It's been established in 2012. Wow. Look it at looks that like thing. one side of your, your mustache is normal, and the other side looks like it's on Adderall. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was because of the hand. Uh, <laughs> my goodness gracious. So, uh, T-switch. Yeah, this dude looked like the cartoon Garfield was a person. <laughs> Jim? 
looks like everything John. from Garfield. Absolutely doodly. My goodness gracious. So, uh, stand up. How long you been doing it? Uh, I tried to host an open mic once in Montana and it failed completely, but this is pretty much my first time. Wow, look at that. Very good. Very, very good. We'll call it your first time. How old are you? 31. 31. What do you do for work? I make pasta for Japanese people. Pasta for Japanese people. <laughs> my goodness gracious. What do you call that? You don't call it pasta, do you? It's, it's literally just making noodles. You make noodles? So you boil noodles? Well, I'm in charge of putting them in a box, but yes. So it's hard noodles. Pasta manufacturing. Right. Not just right. Like so it's dry the pasta. Correct. What do you put over your mustache when you're doing that? Beard Is net. Ah, oh, so you fit in with all the other Japanese people. You're wearing a <laughs> surgeon's mask while at yes. uh, <laughs> while at work. Asian people love those surgeon masks. Absolutely. My God, you are an interesting character. <laughs> T-Switch. This dude... <laughs> he, he looked like Wilford Brimley after he got out of the pool in Cocoon. <laughs> that's... Yo, know, that's specific, but it's true as hell, dog. <laughs> such a weird one. Wow. So uh, what do you do for fun? Hobbies? Special things you do up in Montana? You look like the kind of guy that uh, cuts firewood or something like that? No. What do you I do for fun? I don't do any of that. I, I sit at home. I smoke weed. I yes. drink beer. <laughs> and you smoke weed and what? Drink beer. Right. What do you like to do after you do that? You ever do anything interesting like uh, dig a hole or uh, yeah. <laughs> suck on dry erase markers for fun? I uh, have sex with MILFs. MILFs! Oh, look at that. So you, you could call that a MILF mustache. <laughs> it's a powerful Joel Burke chant happening. My goodness, how many MILFs have you uh, been with? Uh, just two. Just two. <laughs> My goodness. You're allowed up to five. <laughs> Look at that. Are these, are these your friends' moms? Where are you finding these moms at? Um, they're all from work. All from work. All, are they all Asian? Well, Asian funny. MILF doesn't count, by the way. That's no. not <laughs> a real MILF. There's no sun damage or anything. No, there's no... <laughs> no, there was no actual Asian MILFs, but they, uh, I do work. They're not Asian, or they are? They're not. They're not. They're, they're not Asian. Right. I don't really work with Asians all that much, but... Right. I do have, I do have someone that I worked with before, and I recognized that I fucked his mom because they, he, she has portraits of her kids as tramp stamps. And Shut I the actually, fuck up! I'm not even fucking kidding. So she actually, literally had. I saw his signature on a piece of paperwork one day, and it all came rushing back. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Because she has her kids' face. Right above her ass cheeks, and then... Did you come on those kids? Yeah, I... I, I <laughs> did you? No, you came inside of her, didn't you? Uh, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, I came inside look of her. at that. Yo, man, that's an intentional foul, dog. My <laughs> <laughs> goodness gracious. Wow, the MILF man over here <laughs> making a special delivery. My goodness. So if you had to guess the age of the oldest MILF that you've been with, what would be the number that you guess? Uh, oh, it's okay. Just, it's okay. It was uh, 45, and 40. that was the most recent. 45, that's the most recent one. What do you think it is about these older women that you like? What draws you to the MILF? Uh, you can bust inside of them. Wow, that's what you're into, huh? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> This dude go hard in the fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Fuck yeah, man. You love putting pasta in boxes, don't you? <laughs> wow, that is so interesting, man. Well, I mean, your first time on stage, fun interview, fun set, you have a great look. You should restart that open mic, man. Just because the first one was a failure 
Doesn't mean shit. The first ever Kill Tony had four audience members. Uh, you know, a few comedians were there. Very, very few. Barely enough to have a whole show. Uh, two of the audience members were there because they thought it was another show that was a different thing. And nobody knew what the fuck was going on. But we kept doing it. You just got to keep doing it. And things grow. Things get bigger and better. So thank you. You'll get better. The show will get better. The audience will want to come back. If you build it, they will come. And by come, I mean inside of an old lady. Appreciate it. There he goes, Logan Taylor, everyone. Oh, this guy's getting a standing O from some people over here. Oh, a bunch of MILFs. Oh, is that Team Montana? All right, this is cool. I believe we know this young lady. I believe she's been on a couple episodes of this show. Make some noise for Angel Pitts, everyone. Angel Pitts. Yeah, here she is. It's Angel Pitts, everyone. One more time for Angel, everybody. Hey, y'all. I'm here, y'all. What's crack a lag in this motherfucker? What's up? So a little bit of myself, I'm mixed, all right? I ain't black enough for black people. I ain't white enough for you folks. And I'm a, <laughs> and I'm a disgrace to Asians all over because they don't like that interracial shit. <laughs> but I'm real cool with my mom, right? Like, we this close. She called me up, she says, hey, baby, how you doing? And I'm like, well, you got with a black guy, so it's kind of hard for me to do my hair and shit. <laughs> But I'ma keep it moving though, it helped me get the bitches. I'm married, hell yeah, to a woman. <laughs> and I think the real reason why I never had a real boyfriend is God built me like a football player. <laughs> I never heard no man say, damn ma. <laughs> you looking good with them broad ass shoulders on you. <laughs> Boom! Angel Pitts. Keep that microphone. You're gonna need that. There you go. What up, bro? What's up? What's going on? Is this your second or third time on Kill Tony? Second, second time ever. I remember you being on before. Can't forget a girl like Angel Pitts. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up, what's up? You're exactly what I love about this show is someone that gets better since the last time we saw you. You're talking about your real life, real stuff, again, that only you can talk about. Everything's about you. That's beautiful. How long ago was the last time you were on? Was that November 2018 here yeah. in San Antonio? No, actually, it was in West Hollywood uh, 82 weeks ago uh, in 2018. Did you say 82 weeks, weeks ago? I love that. <laughs> this shit, I know it. You're goddamn right. Yeah. Um... Actually, uh, Jeremiah and his buddy, uh, they were like British shoulders, and I was like super happy, and I was like, damn, this is lit. Yeah, you were at the world famous comedy store. Absolutely. I was super happy because I saw your uh, stand up years ago, and I was like, damn, I love that guy. And then when I moved to LA and saw you, I was fucking stoked, man. Right, you saw my stand up. You weren't like, no, go without me, Houston boyfriend, <laughs> fucking computer nerd. You weren't like Sarah I at all. I love you, man. <laughs> right. She have a good sense of humor. Yeah, I do. You're, you're goddamn motherfucking right you do. Fucking funny. <laughs> Angel, Angel, you said you're mixed with what? Cabbage Patch Kid? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. Heck yeah. I it's either Cabbage Patch or Sour Patch. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. Somewhere in the middle there. It's patchy. So you got married since the last time we've seen you. Where, where'd you meet your wife at? Uh, San Marcos. San Marcos. Yeah. What's that? Is that here in Texas? Yeah, Texas State. Go Bobcats! Eat them up, beat them up, go Cats! Wow, you like the Bobcats. The last comedian liked Cougars. <laughs> wow. So what were you guys doing? Where'd you meet her at? You were walking down uh, the Rainbow Crosswalk on Main Street? No, nah, I was helping her with her work, and I was like, hey, you like chips? And she was like, yeah, and then she ate all of them, and I was like, that's the one. Hell yeah. That's the one. Heck yeah. Where were the chips located at? Yeah. Were they in your little fucking tortilla bowl? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They were Lay's potato chips. You just can't have one. Oh, shit. God damn. 
Yeah. Wow, look at that. So then uh, what did you guys do when you first hung out? Uh, we went to a basketball game. Wow, that, you're officially a lesbian. That is true. <laughs> that is the most... That is the most... Even the lesbian... Hey, thumbs up on that one. Fuck yeah. Was it a WNBA game? Nah, it was actually like just a regular basketball right, game. Right, that's the gateway. That's yeah. what we call that. That's it. Was it a Spurs game? No, it was a Bobcat game. Bobcat game. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very cool. And then what happened? Where would you go after that? You, uh, you, hooked, you guys ate, hooked ate up? Some food. Yeah, that too. <laughs> and then, so how does that go down? I'm always interested in how like a lesbian relationship starts. Like, uh, are you the alpha, or is she sort of like the? I look like the alpha, but she's actually running shit. She's cool. <laughs> Do you know Sarah? How do I know Sarah? We always say, hey, we saw, we saw you all the time at, uh, at the comedy store. Dude. At the comedy store. Yeah, I was checking her out and shit. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> I was checking her out? Yeah. Wow, that's always interesting when people bring this up. People think that if I look at their girl one time that I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's interested. Like, yeah, shit. you know me and those alpha lesbians. We just can't. Once we make eye contact once, it's on like Donkey Kong. You know what I'm saying? Another thumbs up. Thank you. Hell yeah. When she's proud of you, does she say, Yas Queen Latifah? <laughs> I love it. So, Angel, what do you do for work? Uh, right now, I'm a busser at Sushi Zushi on Colonnade. Wow, that's a lot of information. That was almost the, uh, why don't you just give us your social security number while you're at it? They like sushi. They need to come over. Give me the tip. You feel me? I'm trying. Absolutely. See, you hear that? They gonna go. Jesus Christ. So, what was that? you work at a sushi restaurant, so we know it's authentic. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That way, you always have an excuse for smelling like fish. <laughs> yeah. You want to smell me? <laughs> no, I don't. I get a feeling you're not called Angel Pits because of your smell. Uh, probably devil pits would be more like it <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> angel you have any special skills or talents other than stand-up comedy that you like to do or any fun hobbies or anything like that uh, actually no this is my dream dude i'm gonna keep doing this until i'm like you dude absolutely how old are you i'm i'm 23 years old wow nothing can stop you that is incredible so you were at the comedy store basically when you were 21 when you just turned 21 yeah uh, yeah, you had uh, Malcolm Hatchett there. Yep. And uh, he was your regular, and I was there for William Montgomery. Now you yep. have David Lucas. Yep. What a nightmare. So, I've been yep. following you. Like, you're real cool, dude. Very cool. Starting at 21 at the Comedy Store. You've been doing it a lot since then? Yeah. Well, that's the way to get there. I mean, this is how you do it. And just keep fucking talking about you and taking chances, taking risks, and, and doing it continuously. I will. Y'all can catch me at Jokesters on Thursdays in the South Alamo Street, dude. Check Absolutely. Catch her at Jokesters on either. Thursdays. That's a way to support a local Kill Tony talent right there. She's on social media at Weird Hippie with three Ps. How about one more time for Angel Pitts, everybody? Hell yeah. Angel Pitts. What a sweetheart. What a sweet, sweet girl. I like her. The rare, likable, nice lesbian, everybody. No, not that one. <laughs> I love it. How oh, fun. That's a blank one. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. This guy is, uh, this guy's been on the show quite a few times. He follows us all the time when we're in Texas. He has uh, created quite the name for himself on the show. Always interesting. Make some noise for Nikki, everybody. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Nikki. Right when you think no one else could possibly flirt with Tony tonight. Here comes someone that I see peeking through my windows sometimes. Nikki, everybody. <laughs> One more time for Nikki, everyone. What's up, San Antonio? So I had the craziest dream yesterday. What was it? I woke up, I was in a hotel room. And I was in bed like this. I look at the foot of the bed. And I see Joe Rogan. And he turns around, he goes, hey man, pull out that sweet Italian sausage. I want to suck that. 
So I just lay there and I let, I let Joe do his thing. I rub his head like the top of a basketball. He purrs like a kitty. And then I look to my left and I'm looking in the eyes of a sweet supple man named Tony Hinchcliffe. And Tony comes over to my ear and he whispers and his mustache tickles my earlobe. And he goes, hey, I want to show you some slop top. <laughs> All right, I won't finish it, but you know. Jesus, Nikki. My God. That was just the gayest thing that I've seen all night. Oh, come yeah. on. I saw yeah. the sound guy kiss Ishmael on the cheek. But, man. Uh, it's crazy, man. Power forward means power bottom, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, Nikki, welcome back. You're yes. one of our favorite uh, little Texas uh, gay people that have ever been on this show. Always interesting, always compelling. You shrug like that's shocking to you after you say that you had a dream with Joe Rogan and I in it, tickling you with our mustache. Fuck yeah. All right. Is that what you planned on talking about here tonight? A if you bit. got pulled out of the bucket? No, I had something else, but I just wanted to go with this. Hey, we have word that Joe Rogan is calling in right now. He has some notes for you. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> it's actual Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe, what did you think about uh, what did you think about his performance here tonight, Joe? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow <honey. laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to Joe Rogan? He's on he's on the fucking thing right now. <laughs> Joe, just can I be on your podcast, please? Uh, well, let's see what Joe has to say about this. Oh, wow. Look at that, Joe. <laughs> My goodness. I think that's a no, Nikki. Well, keep Wow. Trying. So what's been going on in life, Nikki? You, uh, you have a boyfriend or something like that? What's, what's shaking? Yeah, you know that. We're doing good. We're going, actually, Saturday is going to be our one-year anniversary. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? What are you going to celebrate? Uh, what are you going to shove up your ass? Uh, <laughs> probably cake and then eat it out. Oh, oh and crafty day news. <laughs> yeah. There it is. There it is. Uh, wow. So one year with this guy. So what does that mean? What's that like? Don't, don't gay guys, don't, aren't the relationships no. a little bit faster? Isn't there like a quicker turnover there? You have to hold it by the microphone I'm part. Trying. Stop, stop holding the wire part. Get, you get your right, right hand. Here. There you go. Is that good? Yeah, it you sounds like, that? like it. No. Right here. Have you never had a buddy before? <laughs> All right, Joe. Settle down, Joe. All right. So, Nikki. <laughs> Uh, what else has been going on since the last time you've been on this show? What else has been going on? Uh, so, recently I had to pull my gun on somebody. Wow. And uh. You need a pistol? Like a fucking, yeah, my uh, what is 1911 it? Uh, Six Hour. Wow, I, I would have guessed an A-Gay 47. <laughs> I don't know. Gay gun jokes as fast as you can come up with. Anybody do better? 357 Magnum condom. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's a good one. I like it. What kind of gun was it, Nikki? Uh, it's a... Uh, a Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But seriously, an, though. An assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, fuck yeah. What was it? Uh, it's a, a, a Sig Sauer. Oh. I shot my load gun. <laughs> <laughs> How, what happened? Like, what, what, what yeah, was going on? Tell us why you pulled the gun uh, out. Well, this is crazy. I was, I was coming home from... Uh, it seemed like you don't ever pull out at all anytime. <laughs> never, but in this case, I did. So I was coming home from uh, dinner after uh, work. I had dinner with my boyfriend. Uh -huh. And uh, I was coming home, and I live in Dallas, and I, I have a, like an alleyway behind my condominium buildings. And there was a car that was stopped, and I'm like, you know, what the fuck is this guy doing? I'm laying on the horn. I was actually on the phone with my mom, and I'm like, there's this fucking asshole in front of me. And you could tell that he was, like, reaching over and, you know, doing something. But normally when you land, 
Yeah. Somebody, uh, you know, they'll do one of these or some shit like that. Uh, so uh-huh, uh-huh. I was like, I'm going to get the fuck out of the car and confront this person. Uh huh. So I grabbed my gun. Make the, make the story a little bit longer. All right. Please. Fucking Jesus Christ. So I grabbed the gun. I knock on his window. He jumps out of the car. It happened to be a black dude in Timberlands, and he was fucking serious. So I had that fucking thing out. Draw, safety Oh, my God. Drop. Look how gay you hold your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Put your Get hands out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck. Get that fuck. Face down and <laughs> ass up now. This guy, learned how to <laughs> sh- this guy learned how to shoot a gun on Charlie's Angels or something like that. <laughs> So then I shot the I, I so I shot the black guy and the gun went pew pew pew. <laughs> so I busted a cap in his ass. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So pull, you, it, pull it out again. Show us how you did it again. Show us. Oh uh, no! Don't try ah, to be fun. Oh my god. Right in his face. So you're allowed to carry a gun around here, like you're like you're, you're yeah. It's, a le- it's it's legal to carry it in your car, and you should if you live yeah. in Texas, because yeah. it's the greatest state in America. Yep. Right. Yep. I agree. I, I agree. Like By the way, I seriously agree. I, I come agree. to Texas like every three weeks now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I fucking love Texas. Mm-hmm. It's good shit. Huh? It's good shit. You can pull guns on people, and it's I, in your legal I agree. Right to do so. I agree. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit. Uh, I I lean a lot farther right than uh, than people think since I since the shape of my uh, voice and head and everything and uh, how much I weigh. But I am. Uh, hey man, we're on. The I'm one of the same. most more conservative people that I know in Los Angeles. And uh, if it was up to me, I'd move to Texas in a fucking heartbeat. Not just because of the gun thing, a lot of reasons, but. Uh, but I like it. But unfortunately, you can't be one of the top young rising comedians in the world out here. So, What's your favorite thing about Texas? Well, really, it's just pretty much everything. It's like real people, the food, the land. You can have, you know, it's easy to get around. Crazy freeway systems that actually work. The most uh, beautiful women in the world. In the whole wide world. world. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot going on for Texas. It's just a it's sort of like a cooler. Uh, it's just not as uppity, right? As uh, California tends to be. Yeah, LA's a little. Every, kinda... not, not everybody thinks that the fucking world is ending. Not everybody's crying and watching Saturday Night Live and fucking. Very few Amy Schumer fans out here. Uh... So, I. I uh... I realized that in your story, the guy being black and wearing Timberlands had nothing to do really with anything. Yeah, yeah that was scared because well, he was no, black. No, because if he was like a white, shrimpy dude, I'd be like, hey, man, I'd like keep the gun still right here. But man, he was ready. And I find like, it interesting. It's one of the one of the things you can always tell. Like gay guys are so interesting, right? Because you said Timberlands before he even stepped out of the car, so that means you knocked on the window and you're like, what kind of shoes do you wear? Oh, fuck, Timberlands. It's getting serious. <laughs> See, you know what I mean. No. no. Yeah, you no. would do the same no. thing. No, I'm say, saying that that's you know what, what I mean? you did. That's not what I would have done. Uh, what if he had I would have gone no. around him in the he alleyway. Knows. Yeah, you fucking. But of course, you trying to rear end the fucking guy. <laughs> All right, Nikki, we did it again. You have, you, how many times have you been on this show? Four or uh, five this times? This is number four, man. Number I'm four. Coming, coming tomorrow, so. Heck yeah. No one knows more you about a com- No one knows more about a comeback than you do, Nikki, so. <laughs> There he is again, Nikki. Everybody, Thank you guys. Nikki Dallas. <laughs> Thank you, San Dallas. Antonio. We love you, Nikki. Fun times. There he goes. What do you guys think? Go to the bucket one more time, huh? Okay. Lady, lady, lady. Somebody pull a gun on that lady. Lady. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> Lady, wow. you're unbearable. Stop, <laughs> stop yelling shit, especially during people's sets. It's disruptive. Makes me not like Texas as much as I do. <laughs> See that? That's how you get them to fucking shape up. <laughs> oh my God, everybody's going to hate me. All right, pulled another name out. Make some noise for Victoria Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Victoria Thompson. We're playing basketball. We're playing basketball. Here she is. 
she comes, Victoria Thompson, everyone. Come on in, Victoria. Here she is, your final comedian of the night, Victoria Thompson. How about them cowboys? Texans? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. So, um... All right, thank you. So my PC friend uh, told me that it was my white privilege that got me out of the my speeding ticket. I told her that it was pretty racist of her to assume that only white people can get blowjobs. <laughs> so Instagram is a uh, great name for a... Uh, drug dealer who 3D prints his cocaine. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Victoria Thompson. Shoving about 20 seconds worth of material into a minute. Real tight squeeze you got there, Victoria. Way to make them want it. Way to leave them wanting more. Victoria, how's it going? It's we going met you in like Washington, <laughs> D.C., is that correct? Just I remember that. That's a good Absolutely. memory. Absolutely, just hey. like uh, this guy right here with the, uh, with the ball cap, oh. our guy. Oh. Our guy, Creepy Creeper The syndrome. prophet. <laughs> Marcus is here. The, from the yeah. So, Victoria, how's life been going? It's been going pretty good. Like, uh, uh, it's okay. It's all right. Just commit to it. It'll work. All right, thank you. Yep. But don't shake it around as much as you can. Just leave it right there, right in front of your fucking face. Yeah, don't you're not it. trying to get out of a ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Did you really blow a cop to get out of a ticket? I well, you know, I tried. But he didn't. He didn't want you to. He'd rather just give work. you the warning. He's like, oh no, I'll just let you off with a warning. Uh, your mouth isn't small enough. All <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to fuck that yep. loose ass mouth. So Victoria, how's life going? Where, you, where do you live? North Carolina. North Carolina. So what you, did you come here? You flew here for this? For Kill Very Tony? first time flying, actually. Wow, your first yeah. time flying, and it was for Kill Tony. <laughs> Look at that. The bucket of destiny has a rhythm to it. Did you have fun flying? Was oh, it, it was, scary? It was so, uh, at first, yeah, like, super scary, but, um, uh, like, uh, I had a labor or whatever, like, it, the first flight, it was like super smooth, but um, like uh, going from Tennessee to here, San Antonio, was like, it was great until we were landing. What happened while you were landing? Turbulence from the fucking movies. Like, no. <laughs> like, no, you're okay. That's all very common, Victoria. It's just a little bit of wind. There's a lot, of, a lot that goes on when you're in something that weighs many tons uh, <laughs> flying through the air at a fast rate. But you got nervous? Did you scream or anything like white trashy like that? <laughs> oh, fuck, no! Oh, Jesus now. Christ, this is my first flight! <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm from North Carolina! I just wanted to go to kill Tony! Like that? Yell, yell anything dumb? Did you I clap did. when the plane landed like a fucking real garbage human? Like a real fucking bozo? <laughs> I'll blow the pilot, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Just get me out of here! <laughs> Make me a bird. Actually, Let me fly far, far away. <laughs> Actually played it cool like I knew what the fuck I was doing and like this lady who was sitting next to me she like grabbed my hand oh yeah, did she have a, a picture of her kids tattooed on the bottom of her back <laughs> <laughs> i love it what do you do for work victoria uh i am in between jobs in between jobs i was working at the state farmer market state farmer's market mm -hmm. that's that's uh that's um that's interesting that's like a combination of two jobs Farmer's Market and State Farm. <laughs> yeah. Well, state like, Farmer's uh, Market. It was founded by the state, so it's like... We um, are farmers. Do, 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 do. Have some guacamole. Oh, man, this turbulence <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victoria. 
It's just fun to make fun of people from North Carolina, especially in Texas, you know what I mean? Right? This way you guys get a taste of what it's like making fun of fucking hillbillies, even though it doesn't get any more <laughs> hillbilly than you, you know what I mean? <laughs> what are you playing over there, Jeremiah? Hey, there you go. That's great. He knows all the insurance songs. What the fuck? Victoria, this was awesome. You got up tonight. I, I just don't feel like this is a way to end an episode, though. I'm going to try to squeeze one more person up here. How about one more time for Victoria Thompson? There she goes. Let's see what happens here. Victoria, awesome stuff. Way to go for it. Got a little shaken up. Sometimes it's not easy. The pressure, two flights with a layover. You flew in today, Victoria? You flew in today, Victoria? You flew in today? Yeah, see, that's a little, you're a little bit out of your element. You need to rest up a little bit. You going to the shows in Houston? Oh, very cool. All right, we'll see you there. One more time for Victoria Thompson, everybody. Okay, this is it. Your final comedian of the night. You guys ready for this? Because we can end it now if you guys want to. We can. All right. All right. I just don't want to have you guys out too late. We're going to be doing a meet and greet after this. We, Ryan J. E. Belt drew specific Texas prints for this run. So if you guys want any, we'll sign them or whatever after this in the lobby area. Jeremiah brought some merch from his new Jeremiah Watkins merch store. I brought, I brought some Tony Hinchcliffe pins. If you want, I could draw a mustache on them with a Sharpie, leave a little space in the middle, whatever you guys want. Anyway, your final comedian of the night will go by the name of Dante Verdusco. Dante Verdusco. Here he comes. He's excited. Arm up in the air. Jeremiah, make some room for him. Here we go. Come on, people. This is it. Dante Verdusco. Yeah. Do you guys think it's weird for me to close the blinds before I masturbate? Could you help me convince the people at Starbucks? It's bad enough they got my name wrong. I said, call me Daddy. D-A-D-D-Y. Nah, truth be told, I don't like caffeinated drinks. They remind me too much of my parents. Yeah, you know, like once they hit you, you can't really go to sleep. <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't drink caffeine. I also don't smoke weed. I had to stop. I was smoking too much weed. You know you smoke too much weed when you start ordering ingredients instead of items at the drive through window? <laughs> like, let me get the chicken with the rice and the beans and the cheese and the tortilla. They're like, sir, we can't help you with that. Well, why not? This is a free country. Customer's always right. Sir, this is a Wells Fargo motor bank. <laughs> We're going to have to ask you to uh, put your shirt back on. I got one more. Uh, sure, if you want to, go ahead, Dante. Absolutely. Uh, in all seriousness, my nephew goes to school not too far from here. And uh, every day, he gets bullied. He gets picked on. He gets his lunch stolen. And uh, I don't even want to imagine what happens to him, you know, after I drop him off. <laughs> Dante Verdusco. You hold on to that microphone, Dante. Look at that. The crowd loves you, Dante. Wow. Dante, Dante, Dante. Look at you. Solid, solid set the entire way through. Solid set for such a soft gentleman. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, approximately five years. Five years? All of it here in San Antonio? No, in El Paso. Represent 915. El Paso. Wow. Yes, so you made a little drive to come out here, huh? Took a Greyhound bus, 10 hours. We're going to wow. go back tomorrow. You're going wow. back to El Paso tomorrow. Yep. Fuck yeah. yeah. My goodness gracious. It El Paso. It wasn't my first time on a Greyhound. First it, time on a it, Greyhound. It, it wasn't, just in case people were wondering. Was what was the turbulence like? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and thank God the old lady grabbed my hand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, 10 hours on a Greyhound. Yeah. My goodness gracious. Wow. So now you know what it was like for your, uh, for your parents who uh, <laughs> landed in El Paso and was, were just like, this is, this is good enough. <laughs> El Paso. You ever seen El Paso before, Joel? 
No. It's more Mexican than Mexico. <laughs> it is literally. Sounds nice. It's literally. Let's Can you drink the water there? <laughs> Take it easy, Esteban Curry. <laughs> Wait, what'd you call him? He's it's trying to fucking roast me, this fuck. Uh, to, what'd you call I him? I was on your side, you fuck. <laughs> Look at this. These Mexicans. Different gangs. Different gangs. <laughs> what happens flour and corn tortilla that's right that's right two different worlds yeah one's hot one's mild <laughs> one's home one's away hey i love it so el paso texas five years you've been doing stand up there yeah and you came here all the way for this for kill tony yep. it's incredible that's 10 amazing. hours means you traveled farther than the lady from north carolina did yeah, that is mind-boggling Great. A brown man on a greyhound. Incredible. Wow. What do you do for work in El Paso? Um, I'm a teacher by trade, but my license expired. So right now I'm just uh, a landlord, property management. Hell yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, What kind of teaching do you do? Uh, Social studies, geography, history. Very good. Very good. Fuck yeah. And your license expired. What do you have to do to get that back? Two years. Got to just reapply. I I don't think I want to teach social studies anymore. I think I want to teach ESL. What's yeah. ESL? English as a second language. like. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Either that or uh, sped, special education. Yeah, yeah, special education. Absolutely. You can learn something from old Tiny Mouth Jenkins yeah. over there. <laughs> I love it. What do you do for fun? Any hobbies or anything like that we should know about? Uh, I like to read, you know, play guitar. Um, I speak Italian. You Do you speak Italian? Yeah, I... I I have jokes about it, but... Can you, know, you, go, can you, speak, can you say something in Italian, that, yeah. uh, something romantic or something sure. like that for the ladies out there? Ladies, ready? Oh. Dal finestre alle pareti, finché il sudore gocciola il basso, mie pale, e tutti questi femmini strisciare. Wow, look at that. God yeah. damn. Oh my God. Wow, can this, this wetback just made her have a wet front. That's incredible. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Yeah, T-switch. Yeah, his Italian roughly translates to I came in my pants the first time I saw you. (laughs) (laughs) My goodness gracious. What did you say to her? What did you say in English? Uh, I said to the windows, to the walls, to the sweat drips down my balls. Wow, look at that. My goodness. Little, Little John from a big one. Wow. Dante, is there anything else crazy about your life that we should know about before we let you go? No, I taught myself how to read. That's about it. But That's it? Yeah. I love it. Well, man, what a way to close an episode. You're an absolute monster. Next time, uh, next time you make it to a, uh, next time you make it to a Kill Tony, wherever it is, wherever it may be, uh, hit us up on your way in and we'll give you a minute on us. How about that? Dante Verdusco, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end an episode. Did you guys have fun tonight? All right. Well, we're going to be uh, we're going to be slinging posters, signing them, taking pictures with you. Make sure you form a decent line. For those of you listening all around the world, don't forget Calgary, Tempe, Vancouver, Kiltony East, La Jolla, Ventura, Boston and Austin all coming up soon. Uh, Nitro Caveman Coffee Infinite CBD Thank you for everything How about a hand for the one and only Jeremiah Watkins T-Switch He's got a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders Out With the great Pete Holmes He's got those dates that I mentioned earlier He's going to Buffalo, Syracuse, and Albany In the month of February JeremiahWatkins.com Also Tahoe coming up on the 16th Anything else, Jeremiah? Uh, yeah, follow me on social media At Jeremiah Standup And check out my YouTube page YouTube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins Love Ab- you, Texas Absolutely Guys, you know him You love him The one and only Ludwig's very own Jolbert Joel Jimenez can I give a shout out to uh, Yoni Levin from Best Barbecue Show and 2M Smokehouse? They brought us a bunch of delicious food today. It was hell great. yeah! Oh Thank my goodness. Come on. Say it again. Say it again. Get that plug out there clean. You guys all need to try this fucking barbecue. I know you all have your favorite place, but this guy, Best Barbecue. Yeah, is? Best Barbecue on Instagram. His and name you is- have to spell out barbecue. Best Barbecue, all one word. Yeah. And he uh, brought it from 2M Smokehouse. And his name's Yoni Levin, so thanks a lot. And 2M Smokehouse is in Austin, is that right? Uh, yes. No, no, no. Here. 
Here. Here. Here. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. Get the stuff. corn. Get the corn. Yeah. Get get everything. The corn, the potato salad, the pickles, fucking the brisket, the meats, the sausage. So amazing. Everything was incredible. We thank you so much for that. And uh, we thank you guys. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you again next time. Red Band. Guys, thanks a lot. I love you. Good night. <laughs> Come on.